Hello there, Mark Cunningham here. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to reconcile PayPal sales and fee transactions in your Zero Bank feed. So we don't use any connected apps or bank rules in this video, but if you'd like to set up some bank rules, I do have a separate video on that. So you can check that out on my channel. Also, if you'd like to learn more about Zero, check out our courses in the description below. Now, before we get going in Zero, I just need to point out that in this demonstration, I already have a PayPal account connected to my Zero file and the transactions have come through to Zero using an automatic feed. And I am using a live Zero file. So some of the information that I put up on screen, I have to mask for security purposes. Okay, so let's jump into Zero and PayPal now and see how this is done. Okay, so over here in my live Zero file, up the top here on my dashboard, I've got this uh, PayPal account hooked up to zero, which is in Australian dollars. I've got a couple of others there in other currencies, but we're going to be using this one here. And you can see that I've got two transactions to reconcile. So I'll just click on there. And it's taken me into the bank reconciliation screen now for that particular account, that PayPal account. And what we've got here is two transactions. One of them is for a sale. That's the $89 there. And the other one is $2.61, and that's the fee that PayPal charges on that sale. So they're the two transactions that we're going to reconcile. We've got $89 received, and then we've got $2.61 spent as a fee. And I'll just show you the way they look over in PayPal. So over here in PayPal, I'm just on my main dashboard again. And that particular transaction is just this first one on the list here. So I'll just click on this. And it takes me into a screen where we've got more details on the transaction. So what we're looking at here is we've got the purchase total, which is $89. And then we've got the PayPal fee down there. So that's why it's got minus $2.61. And then we've got the net amount here, which is $86.39. So we've just got to make sure that what comes through into zero here are those two amounts and not just the 8639 because if we just reconcile the 8639 and we put it to sales then we're not counting our two dollars 61 fee anywhere in our expenses in our profit and loss so the way i've set this up is correct those two amounts should come through and then we reconcile them um, individually okay so this is a sale so i'm going to reconcile it to a sales account and this is a fee a bank fee effectively so i'm going to reconcile it to an expense account and I'll just point out that if you want to set up specific general ledger codes or accounts for these, all you need to do is go into your chart of accounts down here. And then for the sales, you can go over to revenue. And I'm just going to use the um, sales uh, revenue code that's in here already, 200. But if you want to create one specifically for PayPal or for some other reason that you want to code it to, you just click on add account and you just go through the process here of adding an account. So I'm not going to go through this here in this um, particular video because I've got a different video on how to set up GL codes. But I just want to point out with expenses, if you do want to create a bank fees account just for PayPal, like I've done here, you can just go through and set that up again by clicking on add account. Or if you just want to put it into a bank fees account where you put all your other bank fees, you can just go ahead and do that instead. Okay, so back over here, what we've got to do now is just fill out the who, what, and why for each transaction. So for the who, you can use the name um, of the payee if you want to, or you can use something else if you want to, just to speed things up, I'm just going to call that PayPal, like so. And then for the what, I'm actually going to choose sales right there. And then for the description, you can just put something in um, like PayPal sale like that. Or if you have something more specific you want to put in, you can do that as well. And that one's ready to go. So we can just click on okay whenever we want to. So I'll just come down and do this one first. And again, we'll just say PayPal here for who. And then for what, we can choose that bank fees account. So I can just scroll down and it's right there. Bank fees, PayPal. And then in the description, again, we can just put say PayPal fee like that. That's pretty simple. 
And then when those two are done, we can just click on OK and OK. And they're both reconciled. So that PayPal account now is fully reconciled and zero. So we put those two um, through the basic reconciliation process and they're reconciled now, both individually. One went to sales and one went to the expense account. Okay, so that's it for this video. If you want to learn how to speed things up by creating bank rules, I do have a separate video on that. So you can have a look at the links below or just search on the channel. And I've also got other videos on things like how to set up um, your PayPal account and bank fee, etc. Okay, so I hope you learned how to do a basic reconciliation between PayPal and Zero in this video, and I'll see you in the next video.